What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add a table into the WooCommerce product description, okay? Into two methods, a simpler one and a more professional one, but both effective and free. But before I can continue, please, take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in our choose internet and our site's favor. So let's get this started. First of all, make sure that you have products on your shop, WooCommerce plugin set up. If not, go to YouTube and type Visual Moro WooCommerce. You're going to be able to find our playlist with lots of guides and tutorials explaining how to use WooCommerce, how to set up, how to create pages and how to transform your WordPress website into an efficient e-commerce. So let's get this started. The very first and most simple way to add a table into your WooCommerce description is go to the product description, okay? You can click on edit product into the upper bar on your WordPress toolbar or go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar menus, hover mouse over plugins, over products, click on all products and find the WooCommerce product eating that would like to edit. And right here we have the product description. As you can see, it's empty. We can click on add media. We can create a media on Canva, for example. Canva have amazing tables that you can use to share the sizes of a product, the difference, the features, okay? And you can upload the image as a simple image. Don't, don't forget to change the size, okay? Let's use the full size. Let's update the product. And here is the results we got. Our product have a table into description but this is an image and not very professional it's effective but not so professional if you prefer the solution it's excellent but let's find another one okay move to the wordpress left sidebar menus hover mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin into the upper right corner of our screen next to keyword we're gonna find a field called search plugins and right here we're gonna type table and the plugin that we're looking for is one called Table Press. This guy right here, okay? On yours, gonna be a button to install, and after this, a button to activate. It's gonna redirect you to this list. You can skip this step, no, no need to allow for collect data. And right here, we can create our first table. Right here, not right here, we have no need to purchase or upgrade. Just click be below the all tables, there is a tab right here called Add New. Click right here. We're gonna need to apply a tab name, WooCommerce for description or amazing eatings. The number of rows and the number of columns. This is up to you, okay? I think this way is good. Add a table. Now we're gonna see a table right here, almost like Excel, and you can type anything that you want right here, okay? It's really, really, really simple. Right, after this, we can select cells to insert link, insert image, advanced edition, okay, to customize it. We can apply some links. We can duplicate, delete, move left. We have a couple of options right here and we have table options, okay? In order to make this more customizable, we have features for visitors, okay? But after doing our table in the way that you need, all we have to do is click into the save chains right here. And here is the short code, okay? Copy the short code. Now, let's go back to our WooCommerce product to edit the product. Let me delete this tab and just enter the short code. Let me update. And let's review the results we got. 
as we can see now I have added my table into two sections of my site. No needs to worry, okay, this edit button only appears if you are the site administrator, in the user case they will not appear, but can you see that the table have content and is editable? This is better for SEO, okay, so this is a good recommendation. And here is the bigger table, okay? So I can apply the table into this description. If I enter the content right here, okay, into the product chart description or into this bigger description, into the product description. All I have to do is enter the short code. There is extra nice features of this plugin, okay, that you can explore. Move to plugin options. Right here, we can apply a uh, custom CSS to our tables in the case that we want, okay? And here is all the tables that we have on our site. You can create as many as you need, okay? Don't forget to, just don't forget to enter the short code, okay? And of course, you can customize the table content in the way that you need. Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Barless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Element or Gutenberg or Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that you can start to customize your site in the way that you want. Our growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts. Our sites.gallery, that is a place where we can promote your site, your page, your landing page, your mobile design, your app, everything that you want can be promoted right here for free. And in the case that you want to go premium while you're doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to our entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built type sites that you can import with a single click. In addition with premium themes, plugins, blocks, assets, icons and many many more features including our support doing your site. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.